What's going on you guys? I'm here with my buddy Toy. We're on his 15 foot aluminum boat and we were planning to go for lingcod and rockfish uh, from Half Moon Bay. We actually launched the Honda motor starting to give out on us. So we weren't totally sure and we didn't want to take any risks so we packed up again and we came all the way to Oyster Point and we're gonna mainly use the trolling motor to uh, come and try to catch some halibut. Maybe some sharks, some stripers. Ooh. Say hi to it. Hey guys, he's gonna be helping me out. He's got so much knowledge. He's been fishing since he was a child, which is pretty amazing. And he's rigging up some stuff right here. You have a three-way swivel, one into the, the sinker. And then you have a chain right here. So it's, it's for anti-twisting. When you throw, your bait will turn. Well, what are these little green squids called? It's a uh, hoochie. You can have it or not having it. It, it depends on the day. You know, when the fish bite, it doesn't matter. They bite anyway. This rod here is very sensitive. It's ideal for halibut. I caught uh, over a hundred pounds stur sturgeon. No way. On this rod and reel right here. Oh. In, uh, in a visor. This one right here. The trailer hook, the way on the tail, like this, at the tail. Because they're going to strike from behind, at, at the tail. The rubber thread, you want to wrap it. Okay, and now you're going to bend your anchovy, like this. You're going to bend it a little, so when you draw, your anchovy will spin like this. That's why you need this chain right here, so when your fish spin, it won't twist your line. I caught a shark! <laughs> Here he is! See, see it? Yep! Yeah. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Oh yeah! This is a, oh! Ooh. Oh it's a big one! Hi y'all, you're real little! Hide it a little. Tighten it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh! Here we go. This is what yeah. I'm talking about. Let's see what it is. Maybe another shark. Come on, halibut. Oh, it's oh, a halibut. It's a halibut. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, hold up. Yeah! It's not legal though. Ah, uh, that's okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Lewis. Oh man. There it is. Okay, let's see. That's a measurement right there. There you go. First fish. First fish. First halibut for Lewis. Yeah, gotta throw him back, but yeah. ha, awesome. Good job. Here we go. A little bit half an inch short. That's okay. Ah, look at this. Look at this little guy. 35 inches. 35 inches, he says. 30, 35 Just and a half. One inch too short to keep. But beautiful. Feel this. Ah, it's like sandpaper. That's a pretty guy. 
So let's make sure he keeps breathing and throw him back. There he goes. That was awesome. Thanks. To We got another good one, boys. <laughs> look at look at this little shark. It's a brown shark. We're in about 50 feet of water here, pulling up. It's not a keeper, though. It's a small halibut, not a keeper. Yeah, the guy says that. That's why it's so heavy. Because it's, it's on the side. Oh, I can I can feel it. It's a sideway. It's not hooking to a... Let's go! We might have a fish on this one. Yeah. Yeah, fish? Yep. Feels like another shark. Oh, it's a halibut. It's a halibut. Oh man, that's a halibut. Might be a keeper right there. That's a, that's a keeper. Might be, Maybe yeah. Maybe a keeper. It's longer than the other one. That guy's got to be 22 inches. Ooh. Yep, exactly 22. Right on the money. First keeper halibut ever. Look at the size of this guy. Exactly 22 inches. Ooh. Way to go, Louis. It's pretty. Yeah! Happy for you! Thank you so much, Toy! Uh -huh. Catch Yay. me quick time! Let's go!